dropper seen that and they're gonna be in <laughs> I know, right? hey group. guys this oh. is we're here <laughs> we're just chatting I just realized this is not good. it's live it's we're, live. we're working with Lucy on her interviewing skills and it's all good like when, I mean when the video counts down and it gets to zero yeah. then like train wreck gotta, that's when yeah. you're live you gotta like totally it's okay she's Hi. she all she knows about is sex so that's all right <laughs> <laughs> so we've got business Hi. Sex and oils. <laughs> We're all together. Business, sex, oils, all you need. And Jesus. And Jesus. Jesus. I love it. I love it. So welcome. These are um, some really cute sunglasses that our beautiful Lucy friend gave us so we can be incognito this week because, you know, we're yes. so famous. We do get dun, stopped dun, everywhere we go. Dun, She's dun, famous. Dun, She's dun, famous. Dun, I'm dun, like, dun. we're good. So we, um, <laughs> I bought awesome. them all matching Lucy sunglasses for the week. I She's love amazing. It. I love it. So um, I'm going to take my sunglasses off, but we're, she didn't leave them on because you're not supposed to know who she is. You guys always ask, like, why is her face, like, cropped off? Because, you know, she, Lucy is all of us. <laughs> so, and I just dropped my awesome sunglasses. So I'm going to let Sarah interview us. So I'm going to let Sarah interview Lucy for just a second. Ooh, oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, here we go. All Lucy. Right. And this is going to Lucy L, Lucy L. So we get to talk about El Sexo. What's up? Um, so, first off, a little, uh, little information. We are at the Young Living Convention right now, 2017 convention, and uh, we went a little off the beaten trail um, so that we would not get mauled out here. And the beaten trail led us to a juicery. We have done nothing but poop for the last three hours. <laughs> we have crapped everything. Totally. We got, cleans bathroom. we got cleansing juice. Deep cleansed. Deep cleansed. So you're going to hear a little bit about this, maybe a little bit about sex, right? a little bit about business today. And that's, that's how we roll. So um, one of the things that I asked Lucy, I did an interview with my team just a few minutes ago. We're going to make that live also at oilabilityteam.com. You want to go check that out. But I was asking um, Lucy what her favorite oil in the diffuser is for the bedroom. Oh, my favorite oil in the diffuser. I love orange and Ellie going together. I think they smell really, really nice. And um, it's not on the list of aphrodisiac oils, but I love lemon myrtle just because it smells yummy and it makes me happy. And whenever you're in a good mood and you're happy, that's always good for your mister. So I diffuse a lot of lemon myrtle. I love <laughs> blue cypress in the diffuser. I'm kind of obsessed with that now. And orange and Ellie is just like a go-to. That's a good one for everyone. Yeah. I think she's got like... 50 names for private parts. <laughs> Lucy, give me some of your top names like for the hoo-ha. Well, we were talking Uchi. about the, the hoo-ha and the South Pole, and you <laughs> want to make sure that you're a juicy turkey, not a dry one, and you want your soldiers to be at, your man soldier to be at attention because you want a nice high rocket. We've got all sorts of words that we use in this my group. It's not rated G. <laughs> if your children are playing on the floor, they need to go somewhere else. Okay? They need to go somewhere else. So what is your... What is your list of oils that you need to avoid, like the plague, when you're in the bedroom? Like, avoid? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the oils you put on, and it was like, whoa, Don't that was that. a bad idea. Whoa. And then it stopped everything, and it was like two days before you recovered. <laughs> you had to come back in. Your husband I hates your guts. always tell you guys you need to dilute, dilute, dilute. You never want to put peppermint or wintergreen or thieves on your hands, and then without letting that absorb or wiping, putting on, you know, some ling ling and then, you know, trying to rub that all over your South Pole. Down at the South Pole. Down at the South Pole, because in your South Pole. I'm learning all the dirty words. It's going to be on fire, and then all the, the South Pole ice is going to melt. It's going to be bad, so make sure you're diluting and you're following the guidelines of which oils are safe for the bedroom, and don't don't use hot oils down there. It's not good. It's funny if I snicker every time you say South Pole. She will. Is that right? She will. It's like we're back in third grade all over again. <laughs> okay, so let's good. see. Um, what is your favorite oil to get things moving? Like, all right, frigidity. L let's be real here, right? Okay, I got yeah. I got five babies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm tired. I'm out writing all these these books. Yeah. Going all over the place. I get home. I'm like thunk, and my husband's like, Yeah, <laughs> you're at a convention for five days. I was, I was like, I got bags under my eyes. I'm like super bloated. I just got off the plane. My back's killing me. I beat your kids. <laughs> and I'm just like, I didn't. I didn't actually beat Thank my you. children, but you know what I mean, right? I'm just like super, super frustrated. And he's just like, come on. I'm like, get away from me. So, well, oh my gosh, you just, you said so many big, awesome words. I totally forgot. What South Pole. <laughs> <laughs> what are my favorites for like frigidity? Okay. So orange is awesome for frigidity because it makes you feel carefree. It makes you feel happy. It takes you back to your days of where you're eating popsicles. Um, but then, you know, now that as you're an adult, you're thinking about your nice orange big stick. So it makes you happy. <laughs> 
And so instead of thinking big stick popsicle like when you're little, you think big stick like your man. So orange is a great one for that. <laughs> Choking over your okay. behind the camera. I need a minute to think of the next question, okay? Because like, oh my word, mama. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. What about... I gotta wait, I gotta just talk for a minute because she's like having another conversation in the middle of our interview. Again, remember what I told you? We're working on training Lucy on, on some interview skills. It's like while we're interviewing, you gotta, you gotta wait. You can't like go talking to somebody else. All right, All right. back to Jen L. All right, so the next- the cameras like that. That goes with my boobs. Okay, so we got boobs and poop. All right, um, and like self-pull. Self-pull. <laughs> okay, so, um, what is your favorite little DIY? Now you guys know my thoughts on DIYs for business building, yeah. all right? I, I'm, that's in the context of business building because mm -hmm. I, I'm an aromatherapist. I got six aromatherapy certifications. I play in my kitchen all the time. I love making stuff up. But if you're trying to build your business, you know, mm -hmm. I like you to stay focused on that and, and not to, but, but the reality is it's kind of fun to make some stuff up for the bedroom. Yeah. And, and it's a way that your husband gets interested in the oils, mm -hmm. right? Totally. Like it kind of draws him in. He's like, oh my word, love button lube? <laughs> what the heck is love button lube, <laughs> right? Um, so, so what's your okay. like favorite DIY? Okay, my, well, obviously the Lucy Libido class. That's like one of the most popular and well-loved classes. So um, Sarah has really good business advice of a three to one ratio. So three one-on-ones to one like do it yourself or different type or sale class. Well, I have so many people that have come up to me this week that have said, um, you know, I try and get all these people to classes and no one comes and then I posted a Lucy Libido class with a Lucy Libido make and take and then my doors were flooded. Like, because it's dirty. <laughs> it's because it's fun. And she says South fun. Pole. <laughs> it's so much fun. And so, um, you know, a Lucy Libido class where you can teach your oils 101 and then you can also do your make and take and talk about the Lucy oils and you can add those on and then people want to get kids and they want to get all the Lucy oils and there's like a lot of Lucy oils and in, in a good way, sometimes it's more than what people can get all at once and then that opens up the doors to essential rewards mm -hmm. you say yeah it's you know you're gonna want to get your kit you're gonna want to get all the Lucy oils don't worry you don't have to do it all today I'm not gonna pressure you into that get your kit get like your three top Lucy oils and then make a list of what you want and then you put them on your essential rewards wish list and get like two to four every month and then people are like that's awesome and then you say and you're gonna get points back on everything you buy when you do it that way and they're like thank you and your husband lets you drop the cash because there's something for him in the bedroom in every total, single order. he will totally Totally get on board with ER when they're losing oils. <laughs> so those are good tips to uh, let your husband be okay with essential rewards. I got one last question for you. All right. Um, and that is just one of the things I love about your book so much. <laughs> I think we scared all of the guys that are like throwing everything. Out. <laughs> they're like, I think they're talking about sex over there. But we're just sitting in a juicery, pooping um, from our South Pole. <laughs> I don't want to use that word. My kids have no idea what I'm talking right. about. And it's not That's a good thing. Okay. So, no, the la one of the things I love about your book so much, um, Lucy, is that you edify women and you help them to feel beautiful about themselves. You know, one, one of the new products that got released at convention was an entire mineral line called Savvy Minerals. So And exciting. I love that. I love that because oh. it's just that extra layer that just helps women feel more confident. And I feel like in the bedroom, you're the extra layer <laughs> that helps women feel more confident, feel like they can, they can do this. You know, yeah. they can do this. And I love that you just edify women and that you talk about them being beautiful. Um, it's just amazing. So, um, talk, speak to that a little bit. Maybe there's, maybe there's a woman listening here saying, you know what, I haven't, I haven't really done anything in the bedroom for probably four or five months. I want to. My heart is there. I love my husband. I love him, but um, I. I just, I don't really know how to get the intimacy going again because I don't want him looking at me. I don't feel very beautiful. I don't, like if we're gonna do anything, we're shutting all the, the lights off. This is like the weirdest sex, I've never done a sex interview in 18 years of doing radio. Oh my word. But like, what, what she takes me places I have never been in my life. South Pole. Um, and I can't get orange oil out of my head. You know, or soldier. Okay, anyway, back. All right. So, well, like, what can you say to the woman who's just like, I just don't want to go in the bedroom because I'm not pretty? Well, one of the reasons I kind of hide out a little bit is I don't want people to feel like they have to look like this or they have to look like that. That um, they're their own form of beautiful because everyone is beautiful and we're, we've all made different, you know, skin colors and body shapes and sizes and we're all beautiful. And we're all created beautiful in his sight and in his image. And um, you're beautiful regardless. And so I always start out my book and my classes with the You Are Beautiful exercise. So it's not just... Um, 
here, apply this oil here, and apply oil of that oil there, and then everything's going to be better. You have to walk into it with an inner panache, is what I say, and it's a confidence, and it comes from the inside, and it says, I am beautiful, and that I am worth loving, and I am worth being loved. And especially a lot of women who have had issues in their past with abuse or trauma, it's very hard to get over those blocks. And um, no matter what your past is, you are valuable, you are beautiful, and you need to remember that and you need to write that down and say those affirmations. Because the more you're saying that and writing it out, the more you believe it at a conscious level and at a subconscious level. And then you can walk into that bedroom and you can like look past those little veins or those little lumps or those things that just aren't perfect and it could be like you know what I am gorgeous just the way I am and that is half of it right there before you even get to your oils you walk in knowing that you are worth being desired and you are worth being loved and your heart is going to open up and it's going to make that experience so much more beautiful and you're in the room with the person that loves you more than anybody else on the earth yeah you know yes. and you are perfectly fearfully and wonderfully made and God makes yeah. no mistakes none at all yes. so all right, I, I told you last question, but I actually have one more because while you talk, I always think of more questions. So um, I can't let you go without asking what you're working on. What am I working what's, on? What's the next thing? As a news person, we always want to know the next thing, and we would prefer to know things that you haven't told anybody else that we're getting top secret information top that nobody secret. nobody knows about. Okay, okay so I need the best. All right, so Wait, here's what's going five. on. <laughs> okay, here's what's going on. Okay, so a few things are coming up. One, <laughs> she's a drink. <laughs> More poop in here. <laughs> so funny. Okay, here's a few things coming up. One is a lot of people that have a difficult time getting the print book are asking, hey, I want your book. So I am working on Kindle, and that should be out at the end of the month. So yay, everyone is asking for Kindle. It's coming. It's almost there. We've been working on it. Um, the next thing is I have been getting contacted by many different publishers that want to take the book and publish it worldwide because it's so popular. They want to represent Lucy Libido as a publisher. And um, I've actually had contracts sitting in my computer for two or three months now and haven't signed any of them because I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing and I'm not doing it for me, but I'm doing it for my BFS. And that means, can you get it into markets that people are asking for? Because um, it doesn't matter you know, if you're offering a bit, me, you know, a great contract, if it doesn't go to the people that need, need it, it's everything I've done about the book I wrote, I wrote it for you. So, you know, we're working really hard right now on getting it into Asian and Indonesian markets. So we're working on Singapore and Hong Kong and Japan. We're working That's more Indonesian babies, Malaysia, more Hong Kong babies, Australia, mm -hmm. more yeah. Japanese babies. We're trying to get all those babies. We've had a lot of mamas come up with bellies and babies and say, this is my Lucy baby this week. And that just warms my heart and it makes me cry and I'm just so happy for you. So we're trying to get you Indonesian Asian, Australian babies going out there. So that's what we're working on for that. And then two other kind of exciting things, and this is a secret, though it's going to kind of blow up as my secrets always do. Um, I have been contacted by a really, really cool lingerie company who does, but wait before you freak out, <laughs> objectification free marketing and it's completely fresh and it's different and I love the woman of this company she's an entrepreneur who wants to focus on making women feel beautiful by not giving us a picture that makes us expect that we're supposed to look a certain way in their lingerie and their their line is model free objectification free and it's something I could feel good representing and they want to do a Lucy line so we've got a Lucy line coming out soon Lucy lingerie <laughs> okay for your South Pole <laughs> And it will be objectification and model free because you're beautiful no matter what you look like and you don't have to look like that model to be beautiful in it. And, and that's the only reason I considered it. Um, I just love it. It's different. And then I've also been contacted by a swimmer company who's interested in doing modest, classy, 50s vintage retro Lucy swimwear. And that's going to be coming out probably next summer. But I'm not making any promises because we got a lot of fabric to buy down in the downtown district and we're custom making fabric for it just like I custom made these diffusers we're custom making swimmer for you guys so it's all about you um, I'm really excited those are probably like fall to next summer um, just so many things coming up but um, those are some secrets for you guys who are in these groups you know that that's gonna be coming up soon.
super, super, super crazy excited. That's awesome. So, man, we've got so many things that are up and coming. Isn't it awesome that she gives away her secrets, <laughs> shares what's up and coming? I mean, come on, it doesn't get any better than that. The only thing that's better than that is pooping. So, I'm gonna go poop. Jen always gonna go poop. Lucy's gonna go poop. I'm gonna go poop. I know. So, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have now Lucy interview Sarah. Oh, what do you me? think? I, so Sarah's a professional interviewer, <laughs> but, but Lucy's awesome. So we're gonna have Lucy ask Sarah a few questions because I think it'll be fun for you guys as well. All right. Okay. All right. Totally flipping roles here. This is All right. Scary. So Sarah, I want you to tell me a little bit about how Game Plan can help people who are trying to get silver in diamond. Okay. How can Game Plan help them? Think about this for a while. <laughs> she didn't it. spend like months <laughs> crafting this. Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing that I hear from people is they just don't have confidence to share. You know, they get into it because they love the product, they love the oils, they love using their house, they love the idea of getting their oils for free, and they don't understand where this goes. Um, I spent 36 years in poverty. I spent 12 years living in the projects, and in two and a half years, went from the projects to paying off $250,000 worth of debt and hitting diamond. We were just recognized at the gala so last cool. night, which was crazy. Awesome. <laughs> the words were like <laughs> super heavy. You know, and I step back and I look at our life over the last two and a half years and how could you know that that's possible and not share it with every single person that you meet? Just like you've got that love of oils. So when I first started in Young Living, it was about the passion for the oils. I love the fact that I could choose oils over other products that had chemicals in them. I love the fact that they created something that was absolutely amazing and it was like the best kept secret ever, uh, having access to them. And, and so for me, it was just totally selfish. I just wanted to get them in my home and we had $20 a week to live on after we paid our mortgage and our rent utilities. So it was really, really hard. So I went to my husband, I was like, hey, um, one week we can eat ramen, baked potatoes, I can stretch those like two, three days. We have five kids, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, four sons. Anybody with sons knows Maybe. how much they, they eat like a mortgage every week <laughs> and, and like food, right? Um, and so I, I thought, well, we could just dial back our food. We'll get our ER order. I'll set aside 12 bucks a week, you know, and we'll, we'll get our ER order. And then the next week we can eat normal and then we'll go eat some ramen, you know? And John's like, my husband, he goes, are you kidding me? Why, why would you do that? That's, that's stupid. He goes, just teach a class, get a couple people under you, and then the oils will be for free. I had no concept of network marketing. I'm a homeschool mom. I've written newscasts for 18 years in Chicago and upstate New York, but I didn't know anything, anything. Um, boy, mom, I didn't know anything at all about selling oils. So I, um, I got online, I'm a researcher, got online, grabbed all the aromatherapy books I could find, and wrote basically a script about what I wanted to know as a mom about what the heck oil, what are they? Where do they come from? Can I just get any oil anywhere? What about purity? Does it matter if I'm slathering stuff from Walmart to my kids? What about the whole fight over ingestion of oils? Is it really safe to, to take them internally? Safety, you know, and then where to start? Where to begin? That's what I wanna know as a mom. When I sat through my first class, those are the questions I had when I walked out of the class. And, um, and so I, I got a couple women on my couch, I read the script, and six of them wanted to buy a kit. And I walked away, I was like, Dude, I, I just write newscasts all day. Like, what the heck just happened there? I got my first check in the mail, $342. And so first thing my husband says, you're gonna pay me back for that kit. You give me back the money for that kit so I can legit say every oil I've ever purchased, even from my starter kit, has been totally 100% free. My second check was 800, my third check was 1200, 3000, 4000, 6000, 12000, 20000. It just kept growing and growing and growing because when you have a passion for something, it's all it takes. Yeah. It's just that passion to share the oils. You have a genuine desire to help people live chemical free. So these toxin these, free a lot lives. Of, um, non distributors in here. Mm -hmm. So Per month, I think that's important to remember. Per Your month. checks are per Those month. Those are per month, yeah, per month checks. Per month. So when I first, <laughs> when I first got involved with the oils, it was just getting them in my home. Yeah. Um, then it became just seeing my friends starting to switch their bright blue toxic dish soap and their laundry detergent <laughs> and all the garbage they're cleaning their homes with. Like you open the door, you can smell the chemicals mm -hmm. in their home. You can smell when they walk by you and they've had that laundry detergent. You can smell the chemicals on it. And so seeing my friends starting to live like that was just so. So joyful for me so that was my second why my third why honestly as our check grew you know four months into the business my husband turned to me he goes what the heck are you doing you selling the fountain of youth like what's going on here I don't, you just surpassed your full-time anchoring income of 18 years like well, what's going on and I said I don't know you told me to teach class get my oils for free so I taught a class he's like Sarah you got a knack for this like you, you need you need to keep going 
And, um, and so I did, we hit, we hit golds, um, we had platinum, we had diamond two and a half years after getting the starter kit and there was no magic secret pill. I just taught the same three pages uh, that's in the game plan book. And it was the same, same three things. So I don't even remember what your original question was, but I can tell you now my passion and my why more than anything else out there, as much as I love the oils and I love getting them in my home and I love my friends experiencing the oils, my reason for doing this more than anything else is to see you free. Young Living is freedom. It's freedom in every sense of the word. It's freedom with your lifestyle. It's freedom relationally. It's freedom spiritually. It's freedom emotionally. It's freedom to see all your friends blessed. It's freedom to watch miracles every day as you get to see your frontline leaders and the people that you signed, your friends, your acquaintances, your family members experience freedom. My sister retired from three jobs, $10, three, $10 an hour jobs last August. She's never looked back. She's about to go platinum. My mother, who was married to an alcoholic for 40 years, just purchased her first home in New York on her own for cash. You know, she's about to go platinum this fall. I've got a woman on my team who lived in a 600 square foot house with no stove, with a nonverbal autistic son and four other children. She just purchased her first home. She's about to go gold. I have hundreds of these stories on my team. I could do an entire Facebook Live just on the stories, just on our team alone, not to mention the people that I met at convention, the woman that, that went diamond and had a 94,000 OGV spike from doing game plan with her team and hit diamond and the freedom that that's been for her her and her family um, it's been it's been a game changer for me and you don't you don't experience that and then want to turn around and just keep that for yourself I can't even tell you how many people have come up and said Sarah thank you for making the book open to everybody how could I hold that here and keep that for my team and not make that team young living I can't even fathom doing that because my why does not Cross, it's not, it, there's no border with rank, there's no border with teams, there's no border with any of that. You are my sister, you know, you're, you're my Christian sister, I want to spend an eternity with you and, and I don't withhold the greatest blessing of my life from you, you know, because it's, it's freedom. So that's why I've written the book, um, it's why I created a duplicatable system, people think it's just a book. It's not just a book, it's a training system and if you utilize it to its fullest potential then you will grow like crazy. You're gonna grow like crazy because you know what the distractions are and the pitfalls. So I should stop talking about you asking another question. Oh my gosh, no. Awesome. She's just got such such amazing information. And this is why she is such an expert on business because not only does has she obviously she is but then she wants everybody else to achieve it as well and so you know if you're a distributor who's doing this as a business as well um, Sarah is def definitely someone you want to get her book if you want to listen to her. Young Living Corporate asked me to speak um, at the convention this year and so I just submit all my questions ahead of time and I got flagged by a conduct <laughs> and they sent it back to me and I'm working out I was like oh no did I say respiratory support <laughs> did I not label a vitality oil correctly <laughs> yeah. um, but no what I got flagged for and I had to go back and change it um, was that according to the income disclosure guide which we got inside the minis here is a little mini version of game plan um, it says that only less than 1% of people achieve diamond and so conduct wrote me back and they said Sarah you're talking like anybody can do this and um, and really in reality less than 1% do it and I said but that's not because they can't that's because they don't, they they don't, don't see the vision they don't know where this goes. They don't know they need to fight for it. They don't, they, they start it. The biggest mistake I see is they start it and they give up. They give up too fast. And, 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 and you know, if you look over all the diamonds, I've got, we got Jessica Petty here as a crown diamond sitting right next to us. And you look over all the diamonds and they all say the same thing. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter how many people you know. It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter whether you're shy, whether you're loud. It doesn't matter whether you live in a rural area. I mean, gosh, I had every excuse in the book, guys. I, I started when I was working a job at 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, 60 hours, 40 to 60 hours a week. I had an, an autistic son, four other children at home. You know, we were eating gluten, sugar, and dairy-free. I've been on the GAPS diet for five years, so anybody who's on those diets, you know, it takes prolific amounts of time to cook food. And so, I mean, I, I moved from Chicago to New York. I didn't know anybody, I mean, anybody. And so we were very poor. I mean, we had every excuse in the book. Those, those you gotta recognize those for what they are. They're lies, okay, they're lies. Because the reality is, if something could happen to your husband or your wife or your children, you would blast through a mountain to make sure they were safe and they were protected. Young Living is your security. It's your way out. It's your willable income that goes to your family forever after you're gone. It's worth fighting for. It's, it's not a joke. I stood on the stage last night with hundreds 
of diamonds. Mm -hmm. Like they had just made it this year. It was crazy. They, they it took two hours to read all the names of the people that ranked just in the last year at the third highest rank in this company. She's not I exaggerating. Have, no, two hours. To two list hours them. just to list their names. All right, these are people making thirty thousand dollars a month. So, I mean, I just, is the, is the average income, you know? So I, I look at that and I'm like, gosh, if 800 leaders on my team um, can do the business successfully, if 100 in less than two years can either retire or semi-retire from their jobs in less than two years on my personal team, imagine the impact this company can have for thousands and tens of thousands of people if only people could see the vision. And can I interject one thing it. too? If you look at the, end of the income disclosure guide as well, 93% of people don't try. 93% of people aren't doing the business. So when 1% hits diamond, keep in mind, 93% aren't even trying. Okay, so 7% are trying and 1% are hitting diamond. That's actually pretty good. Do you know what Lindsay said every <laughs> Jessica Petty, Crown Jessica Diamond. Petty, <laughs> so I went to Lindsay Marino's training. Lindsay Marino is my upline, Royal Crown Diamond. She went to, I went to her training meeting yesterday at her convention. She said that Young Living pays out 51%. So they give out to their distributors more than they take to run the actual company. So what does that mean to you? That means if you join Young Living, you are in the best network marketing company that's going to pay the you the most, world. hands down. No other company pays, <laughs> nope. pays, pays that much. Most, most of them are way lower. 33% is average and, and Young Living pays 51%. Yeah. 51. One of the things she said yeah. that really struck me, because people look at Royal Crown Diamond as totally unattainable. Do you know Royal Crown Diamond is six golds? Yeah. It's six gold legs. Like, that's doable, mm -hmm. you know, that's doable. And, and that's, that's part of the game plan training system too is the power of duplication. That's the thing that we write off and we don't take seriously is people think it's a, a book club book that you highlight and you stick on your shelf and oh, I got it in my head, I'm a train and I move on. But where you really see the fruit of it and you really get the growth from it is when you train two to train two. As soon as you finish it, you take that, that passive listener place and you now have, have elevated to the rank of leader. And you're the one that's the accountability partner pulling two other leaders through the system. And, and if they can do it, which is a video every day, 25 videos, oilabilityteam.com, totally free. I'm never going to charge you for it. Um, a chapter in the book, 25 chapters in the book, a worksheet. There's 25 worksheets. So a video, a chapter in the book, a worksheet every single day or however you guys want to do it. Three a week, one a week, it doesn't matter. Your pace doesn't matter. It's just so you get the information in your head. If you can do that, as soon as you finish, train two to train two and they, they go through the boot camp. Um, and then they duplicate it, and now you have four doing it, and then they duplicate it, now you have eight doing it, and then they duplicate it, now you have 16. If you do that for one year, you run boot camps for one year, at the end of the year, you have an organization of 531,000 people, and you're a royal crown diamond. That's the power of duplication. So train two to train two. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh. So tell us what is coming up next for Game Plan. Oh, let's see. I've got the second edition coming out. So for all you game plan groupies, it's going to have a lot of scripts. What we did is basically, you guys were the guinea pigs. We ran the book through, well, I thought it was going to be a few people, and it became 600,000. <laughs> the book went to number one on Amazon. And keep in mind, I'm a homeschool mom. I've never written anything in my life. I have no network marketing background. I have no business background. So I'm sitting here going, she's smart. <laughs> she's smart. She's smart. Um, I just, I want to help people get free to poverty. Okay, I, I know what that place is like and it, it breaks my heart. It breaks my, I love her, she's amazing. Isn't it breaks my <laughs> And so I just put my heart into that book um, because I wanted to speak to the mom out there that had no hope. I want to speak to the mom that was in the place I was in one year ago that just said, man, I just want more than anything else to take my kids on a vacation for the first time before my children are gone. My, my son is 18 years old, my oldest, and we'd never been on a vacation. So you know we did this last month, threw everybody in the van, and we went out to Kalahari Resort Water Park, and we just took four days, and we went down water slides together and sat in the hot tub. My husband had his first massage. We did a couple's massage, and I totally turned him into a spa junkie. <laughs> He's like, where has this been all of my life? I was like, I know, right? <laughs> so it's just, it's just awesome to be able to have these experiences 
to travel the world with my kids, to be debt free. I took my children to Venice <laughs> on Young Living's Dime and the GLC two years ago. So, you know, I just look at the experiences we've had with this company. Gosh, guys, you cannot put a price tag on the benefit and blessing that Young Living has been to my family. I gave a copy of the book to Gary Young, who read half of it in one night. He said, um, he actually talked about it on the main stage yesterday morning at convention. He said, I just want to tell you about a letter that somebody wrote me that really touched me about the reverse tithe. And this woman that wrote said that her goal is to, to live on 10% of tithe. 90% that was me um, and so I sat there and I was like oh my gosh Gary I'm talking about them. you know but it just it really really touched me because my goal is to be able to give in my entire life I've never been in a position to be able to do that whether it was coming from a home with an alcoholic my dad's been in 19 DUI crashes he's had his license revoked for life we were very poor growing up my home burned to the ground when I was 14 um, and then getting engaged when I was 16 years old you know and just getting married really really young and having kids every two years and holding down the first year I married my husband had two full-time jobs one during the day one overnight and then I had a full-time job typing addresses and then I, um, I I had a 21 hour course load in college at night I had a part-time job on the nights I didn't have school and I was pregnant with Gabe so the first year we were married we had three full-time jobs a part-time job I had a 21 hour college course load maintained a 4.0 that year then I was pregnant with Gabriel and so I don't want you guys to have to go through that there's an easier way there's an easier way a three-page script and a starter kit that's the easier way get it in front of faces there's no magic amazing thing you don't need to pay a gazillion dollars for coaching you don't need to go to all these different leadership trainings or go get an aromatherapy certification and be some incredible expert on everything oils I mean I stand in the presence of Gary Young even even as an aromatherapist you know I stand in the presence of him because that was one of the places I went off the road when I was trying to build my business if I could go back I would change it what I had done and I stand in his presence and I'm like I don't know anything I feel like I know absolutely, this guy can literally smell a bottle of oil across the room and tell me all the constituents in it. And I'm like, I, I, I can't do, I will never be able to do that. Not because I'm putting myself down, but because I know my gifts. And that's not my gift, you know, I'm not Gary Young. And so if, you, if you're constantly comparing yourself to all the best of the best of the best, the people that got to diamond, the, I'm not the fastest diamond. I didn't do it the fastest, you know. I'm not the youngest diamond. I'm not the Bethany Shipleys and the Adam Greens. I'm almost 40 years old. I ain't no thing. I'm a regular Joe, just like you guys. But if anything, maybe that gives you some hope to know that when I'm done with this interview, I'm gonna go clean up the underwear off of my hotel room floor right now with my sons, <laughs> which by the way, smells unforgivably bad in my hotel room <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm going to fly home and do about three days worth of laundry and wash my dishes. I'm just a, a regular human being, a regular mom that sat on my couch, wrote a book, threw it up on Amazon, and you guys like turned it into something spectacular that, that just totally blew my mind. Oh, and I had, no, <laughs> I had no idea where this was going to go, but you took it someplace that I, I think the biggest thing I've learned from the experience of, of penning something like this is that, man, we don't dream big enough. We don't dream big enough. Like I know many of you guys at convention have come up to me and said, hey, um, I, my goal is just to get to Senior Star. If I could do that, I could have $300 a month extra for my food budget and I get my oils for free. Like I'm good enough with that. But what if, what if God wanted to take you all the way to Royal because you're supposed to be the spigot that pours onto thousands of people? What if the income isn't just about you and it's not just about your family? What if the income is about something amazing that God's gonna use you to be a vessel that's gonna just pour out and people are gonna be blessed spiritually and relationally and mentally and m emotionally and physically just because they're in your presence because you've got that spigot pouring down on you because you are blessed because God said yes to your dreams and wishes what if that's where this goes isn't that worth fighting for isn't that worth pursuing? Isn't that worth giving for a year and training to to train to to see if you could raise up leaders underneath you to have that, that amazing front row seat to watch miracles happen every day among your team to see your sister free and your mom free and your best friend free, you know, and you're, and you're, you're just the people that you love so deeply in your life. And then to get to meet all these new people that came to your classes, like, like, the woman that I told you about that lived in a 600 square foot house on my team that I never even known to get to see her free and all the other leaders. I'm like, guys, oh gosh, if I could just show you what I've seen in the last two years, that's, that's why I wrote the book because I know you, I know where you're at and I know that you don't have to stay there. Yeah. If you could just see where this goes and see that it's possible for you, that who you know doesn't matter. Okay, and how and, and what your personality is like doesn't matter. That it's, God will open those doors if you just trust Him and you believe and you dream big and you let your feet follow. 
You don't have to stay where you are. But here's the thing, nobody's gonna hand it to you. We had to fight so hard to become Diamond. I taught that three page script 288 times and 289, we hit Diamond. Nobody handed it to me. Your upline doesn't have to do it for you. You have to get out there and you gotta fight for it yourself because your family is worth fighting for. They're worth fighting for and your leaders are worth fighting for and freedom is worth fighting for and big dreams are worth fighting for. Can I share one last thing with you? If it's okay, I know I've been yeah. talking forever, I but I, um, I made a vision board a year ago and I'm a red personality and a blue, which means I'm really scatterbrained. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know how Game Plan was birthed. Cause I'm like, whoa, you know? but, um, but I'm a red. And so I, um, I don't really like doing things that I think don't serve a purpose. That's why I wrote the, the workbook because I want, I'm not gonna just spew things out of you. I want you to make it yours, make it your baby, use your gifts and talents, take the training. The training does not replace you. You are you, you have beautiful, amazing, unique gifts and talents that nobody else has out there. You have a group of people the Lord are gonna put right, he's gonna put it right in front of your path. You're the only person on earth that can speak to them in this way that's gonna be able to reach them. So if you think you're not the, the Jessica Petties and the Lucy Libidos and the Jen O'Sullivan if you think you're not up there, there are people that only you can reach, okay? So stop listening to all the garbage and the muck and the lies out there that you're not good enough and you're not smart enough. It's just baloney for Satan to just get you off the path so that you can't do what you were called and created to do. I was in Myrtle Beach a year ago and I made a vision board, which is a red I think I thought was a total waste of time because I didn't see any reason sitting on the floor and cutting out magazines and I was like, no, I'm about the shortest point from A to B and that is like, you're like, you know, that's like making poop trips like out there. It doesn't even matter, right? So like not even on the road, right? I thought it was a waste of time. But I sat down and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna screw around with this. I'm gonna put down everything I've ever wanted on this board. I, I wanted a boat my whole life because my parents, my grandparents had a sailboat and they would take us out on it. And I, and I loved being out on the boat with my grandparents and I wanted my kids to be able to experience that. I wanted to buy a home debt free and own nothing on it. I wanted to make $30,000 a month. I wanted to be able to hit diamond rank. Um, I wanted to, I just, I just made all these crazy, I wanted to be able to um, have time with my husband and have time with my kids and, and just, I don't know, I just had all these crazy things I put on the board, be able to rest, threw it all up there. About three weeks ago I sat down and I pulled the board out and I just took a look at it and I realized every single thing that I had articulated a year ago had happened. Everything. Mm -hmm. Three weeks ago, we, we paid off $250,000 worth of debt, including the debt from our special needs son in school that we had him placed in for a year after he was charged with a felony for stabbing his little brother, mm -hmm. who's okay, by the way. Because <laughs> um, he, he has autism. He's got autism. Yeah, he didn't know. know. He's he an amazing, know. amazing, awesome young man. Um, we were able to buy a boat for cash, a $10,000 little dollar speedboat, and literally everything I wrote down. I wanted to have a little thing that pulled over because my husband wasn't gonna get in the water. He had to have a radio. It seats seven of us, this little boat. A lady on my team was just getting rid of it because her parents didn't need it anymore, and so we bought this boat. Um, July 11th, I closed on my home, and I'm not gonna live in a 1,300 square foot house anymore. I've got two kids that don't have bedrooms. They live in our garage bay, and we have a plug-in heater um, back there, and I was convicted not to start on my home until we were debt free, and we got a house and we're closing on it in three weeks. Ooh. Like in the neighborhood we wanted to awesome. live in, with a running path, like for me, like uh, three minutes from our church and where our kids play sports. And God has just so mightily blessed that. But you know why? It's because I articulated my dreams. I put them out in front of me. I called God out on it. And I said, God, I'm dreaming bigger. I'm gonna dream bigger. I'm gonna follow where you tell me to go. And when you tell me to jump, I'm gonna say how high. I'm gonna be obedient to what you have for me. And I'm not gonna say, oh, that's too big or no, I, that can't happen to me, or I'm not good enough, or I'm not this enough, because the reality is God loves you, and he wants to give you the desires of your heart. You think that those showed up for no reason? They're there because he put them there, all right? And he wants to call that out in you because in pulling those blessings out of you, look at the people that get blessed around you while you're being blessed. What would have happened if I hadn't written the book? Right? I was terrified. I was like, I'm a mom. Nobody's going to read my book, right? Nobody's going to read Number one on Amazon. We beat Donald Trump. We beat Tony Robbins. We beat uh, Eva, Elon Musk. We beat, I don't even remember who else. We beat Dr. Seuss. You know, I just, I look at that. Look at the story, right? And what that means is it doesn't mean I'm all that. What it means is I serve a great big God who's got great big dreams and he can do the impossible things, the God of the impossible, who does impossible things. And so what that means is when you say, oh, I can do everything but do my business, he says, well, wait a second, I didn't say everything but. 
I said the impossible things, right? That includes speaking to people. <laughs> that includes getting in front of a couple of people, all right? It includes all the things that you're afraid of. He's here to call you out of those places of fear and transform you into the person that he created you to be. That little two-year-old that wasn't afraid of anything, that's that's the person that he wants to bring you back to. So, dream big. Yeah. Oh, isn't she such an inspiration and we can all be that same conduit when we do the same things. All right, Jen, do you have anything you want to add? Uh, no, I just wanted to... Uh Thank you guys for being here. You guys hear enough from me, so I'm not going to talk. But um, I know this is mostly an oil education group, so we joke that like I'm the oil lady, she's the sex, sex. lady. Sex. <laughs> she taught me about the South Pole today. <laughs> so awesome. And then we've got the business. business. <laughs> so good. But um, just I know that this is a mostly an ed oil education group, which is totally cool. And I want you to just feel um, confident knowing that. We are all in this business and we love it. And um, as much as this isn't a business group, I think it is important to share it every once in a while. So we have a lot of you guys who put your team members in here. So if there's someone in here who isn't a Young Living person who is thinking about it, please contact the person that put you in this group. Uh, reach out to them and um, get started because honestly, like, don't wait. For sure, don't wait. It's worth it. It's totally worth it's it. it. Oilabilityteam.com. Tons yeah. of free stuff. A lot of Go free stuff. It. Check it out. We love you. I love it. And do know, though, if because I do have a lot of people in here who come to my group because of my books, um, if you don't have someone, you're welcome to message me. And I'm, as much as I run this group, I'm actually very accessible. So if you don't have anyone, I would love to welcome you to the Young Living family. Um, and just, it's amazing. So we love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.